Hey yo howdy, I'm Derpfish. I quit Genshin like a year ago, but Fontaine looked cool, so I played it two months ago and this happened. Or a trace mechanic. What? <laughs> and I finally finished playing the Archon Quest, which is this video that you're watching right now. It's peak, trust me. Enjoy! My water bottle betrayed me. I spilled water on myself just now. And yes, I will blame the water bottle for that. How dare you, water? If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Oh yeah, sure, don't worry. I'll just stay with you and wait until the thing explodes again so we can all die together. I actually have been wondering, do the behaviors of the NPCs change over time? Because, like, for example, would the guards be meaner to us before, but then nicer after they noticed that we were getting even more buddy-buddy with Risley? Is Risley a werewolf? You think Risley, Risley's like an alpha wolf type? He, like, howls at the moon, you know? <laughs> Just me? Alright. We should be safe now, right? No, but I'm gonna pretend like we are. Good night. Alright then, good night to you, traveler. What a cute moment. Paimon actually lying down and resting is so strange. Ooh. And then he died. The end. That's the whale he summons. I don't know the significance of that cutscene, but that was not- That was Act 4? That was really short! Halt! Huh? Huh? Oh, it's you two. <laughs> Apologies. Monsieur Nirvelet did say you'd be welcome at any time. I love your voice. You're my favorite Melusine, I think, because of your voice. Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment. In the meantime, please, have a seat. It's kind of an unnecessary stall, don't you think? We didn't need to see all that as the player. After the shaking stopped, the water levels in the Poisson area rose at an alarming rate. Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. Yeah, it reminds us of a certain prophecy that continues being brought up. There's no time to lose! Let's get going! Yay, we get this- <gasps> Wait! Do I get to see Silver again? <laughs> oh no! What happened here? Well, looks about the same to me. Um, it looks about the uh, not so good to me. Okay, she's okay. She doesn't look happiest though. You're here. A little earlier, we suddenly heard a loud noise. Before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. Oh no. Oh no! Don't tell me! Where are Malus and Silver, please? Timozel! We've got a situation- No! No way! Are they actually- No! No! There's no way! Is my boy gone? Uh, sorry. I, I need to go for now. No, 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 no! Wait, wait, I need answers! Hold on! No! Oh, no! Hey, traveler? Paimon? Would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Thank you. Okay. Oh my god! My favorite part about all of that just now was that it was like very chippy, cheery, happy music. And then the fucking, the prompt on the quest is, go to the cemetery. I'm like, okay, dude. <laughs> Navia, what's wrong? Sorry. I, I just, Malus and Silver, they won't ever come back here again. No! <laughs> no, it's over. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not playing this quest anymore. I'm done. My my boy's gone. The boys are gone. Huh? What happened to them? Please, please, <laughs> Paimon, Paimon, come on, buddy, connect the fucking dots. You're a detective. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time, and... 
and they were caught in the seawater. <laughs> this isn't fair. This isn't fair. Why couldn't it have just been some other random NPCs? Not those guys, man. I could at least hold a funeral for my father. And I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just gone. I just can't. Oh, the acting is like actually good, so it's like it's fucked. This is so fucked up. I actually really like those NPCs. They did a good job with them, and so that's why this hits harder. They actually did a good job with those boys, and now they're fucking eliminated, bro. Damn, the KD on the fucking seawater is crazy. The gamer girl bathwater approaching a 50 KD ratio. Look out, everybody. Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Why are you here? Fuck you. Uh, is everything going well on your side? What? Not fuck you. I thought you were gonna disrupt a, a moment and sour on our mood, but no. You keep being cool, father. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. Thanks, daddy. There's no need to worry. All good pops, daddy-o. Wait, do you two know each other? Yeah, what's up with that, papa? Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. As he should! That's my BFF right there, my Fontaine, be, be, best Fontaine friend. Which is why I want to give you this task. Whatever. The House yeah, of the Hearthsmen okay. see each other as family, but Linny, Lynette, and Fremine said that they also see you Aww. as such. Oh, did you hear that? What the family? I will do it for the sake of my brother. Linny is my brother. So all we gotta do is go to some ruins, right? We can handle that. No. Excuse me, but may I tag along? No. Oh, I unlocked another. <laughs> you know, it's kind of crazy considering that, like, playing through this quest, I also realized there is actually just an insane amount of stuff to look at and do around this entire region and area. And, like, everything... Is that a fish? So there's so much stuff happening. And that's really cool, but, like, I don't have enough time to do all that. So, unfortunately, while I won't be exploring literally everything that this place has got to offer, I'm still very impressed by what I have seen so far. Let me guess. It's a domain. whoop de doo It's a domain. Well, this place is nice. Maybe by some miracle, I'll bump into Silver down here and he'll be alive the whole time all along. Hey, guys. Have you seen Silver? Oh! Have you seen Silver? I'm asking a question. Oh! Hey, that was rude of you, buddy. Face my water ball. Yeah, take that, stupid. They call that my hollow purple. Yo, why, Mo, and all that. Ah! Oh! In one shot, the traveler. I didn't expect to get skill checked by Genshin. <laughs> this place has also been contaminated by primordial seawater. Looks like a nice pool to me. Okay, the tension is building. I shall diffuse it by eating a cookie. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice. Hey, good game design. Make it clear where you're supposed to climb up by marking it. Nice. What the heck? Enconomia? Enconomia? I barely know ya. Know ya. Wait. There's something wrong with Whoa. The Run for it. What if I don't? What if I just stay on it? What What happens then? You know? What What if I... <laughs> oh, a cutscene. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> Bro, save her! Spider-Man. <laughs> ah! Wow! Oh shit! That was a really good cut! You know what? This is one of the few times that a loading screen has actually been beneficial to this game. Cause the the fucking like suspense and and, and impatience I have staring at this is insane. <clears throat> demoiselle. Huh? No. Is something the matter, demoiselle? Well, not anymore with you here, Silver. You fix everything. Look, it's Navia. She's here. And her two attendants are with her. Why are so many people here? And as for the judge... Huh? Where's Mr. Nervillette? There is no need for a judge when you have... As all here know, you are Master Callus' successor. After you took over the Spina, you treated all of us just like the late Master Callus had. If anyone in need reached out to you for help, 
you responded. We are one big family, all of us who are from... Therefore, this fair and honorable court shall declare you guilty, and you shall stay here. You will be together with us forever. I don't like this. I'm not comfortable. What is there to discuss? Water, water, hold me. Water, please protect me. Water, please. My sweet, sweet water bottle. Oh, please. You, you need to, you need to do something. I seem to remember now. Yes, I get it. This trial is. Wait just a moment. This isn't right. What was that, Mr. Malus? Demoiselle, don't admit guilt. This trial means to keep you here forever. Dude, yeah, yeah, the boys. They stopped, they stopped off, let's go. And of course, of course, had to be Silver, the first one to awaken. Bro, it's him. I believed in him. I knew he was the one. I wish to exercise my right to defend our lady. Her actions cannot serve as proof that she identifies herself as part of any group. Please do not mistake her actions as being otherwise. Oh. Luz's voice is so good, by the way. Don't forget, we are all Fontanians here. This is the nation of justice. The nation of Hydro. The nation of the... <laughs> Water accepts all, blends with all. It will surely accept her kindness. Water? Wait. No. You've been the villain this whole time? No! Oh, I trusted you! No! Don't! Don't! Do you mean to defy our justice? Yes, exactly. Objection! If your justice is flawed, then why should we acknowledge it? Oh, oh shit! Yo, everyone sit the fuck down. Do not resist. This judgment is fair and just. It's the ocean. It's Navia oh my god. Belongs to us. I knew it. I knew it. It's the same concept as the Oceanid from like from the killed the guy. The 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 what's his face? Vache. Vache. You guys know Vache? He was kind of a cool guy, no? Killed people, you know, <laughs> and lost his mind. She says we're jealous. Jealous. <laughs> How could she possibly be an independent individual? Wow, they they are they are such a collective that their animations are all in sync. Crazy. Who's jealous of her? She belongs to us, Miss Navia. She Silver, quick! Fucking destroy them all! Silence. You know, looking back, that was like the gentlest silence I think I've ever heard. Like, I'm surprised I heard him way in the back of the courtroom. He's just like, oh, oh, oh guys, oh, dude, 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 can you be, can you be, can you keep quiet? Can you make, not, not make so much noise? It's a, it's a courtroom, dude, it's just a silence. Hello? Never mind, it wasn't Silver that stepped up, it was the man himself. Uh, that's... <laughs> they literally all got sat. That's funny. The court will adjourn for the rest of the day. Our thanks, Monsieur Nervillette. Please leave with me, Miss Navia. Well, there is still time. But... Go on now, demoiselle. This is your only chance to leave this place. Hey, you guys are real fucking legends, you know that? You guys are heroes. Fucking love these guys. Malus... Silver... Quickly, you must come now. Goodbye, demoiselle. <laughs> Farewell. Farewell, my king. Holy shit, I salute you. Did she survive? Uh, no, wait, just a second. Whoa, oh my god, she's okay. Hey, Navia? You're awake, good. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's literally physically here. You were just about to be dissolved within, but I, I think I saw two Oceanids protecting you. It was only for a moment, but they gave me the chance to retrieve you. Bro, even in death, even in death, the Spina bros. They're so goaded, for real. Also, my god, Nuvolet has just been the most, like, significant fucking contribution to our party ever since getting here. He bails us out of everything, but, like, it isn't too excessive yet, so I, I don't mind that, honestly. Why do you look so stiff all of a sudden? His <laughs> Paimon, this guy is old. You gotta forgive his back, okay? <laughs> huh. You know what? It's very weird, but... 
I actually am kind of a big fan of these like wider camera angles that they just randomly force. Watch your step. Jeez. I mean, these runes are old, old. I wonder if this how Nouvellet feels just walking around and, you know, just with his fucking creaking old body all the time. Mr. Old Man. He's probably hobbling his way over here as we speak, just kind of... <laughs> I like that detail that, like, things can fall on the enemies here, too. There's something else I wonder if... Oh! Well, about to find out. Oh. Ah, okay, makes sense. Yeah, if you try and uh, jump off of here, the game just takes you back. Like, right here. That's good. That's very good. I actually didn't mean to do that, but it's good that I tested that. That's cool. Whoa! Okay. I have now b dissolved into water myself. But unlike the others, I can do that. Ha! That's what you get, Fontanians! Can't turn into water and come back for me, can you? Nah. Silver can. <laughs> He'd win. <gasps> the prophecy! Wait, what? Some kind of island in the sky? Minecraft Skyblock! This exactly matches the content of the prophecy. Weeping on the throne. The people will all be dissolved into the waters. And only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Throne could also mean toilet. Which, that has wildly different implications. Gotta be the world's most painful shit ever. But who would have created these slates and left these words here? Some crazy drunk cavemen. It seems that any further clues will have to come from Farina. It really looks like we're gonna get to the bottom of this mystery. The mystery of Fontaine's prophecy. What could it mean? And now to resolve the mystery of why I shit my pants. Crazy how that happened all in the middle of that. Glad they didn't smell anything. Welcome back. We've got a special menu prepared for you two tonight. Oh, yeah. There's garlic bread! Let's fucking go. Hyman's already starting to forget what happened today. Mona? What? Huh? I didn't actually think it was. I saw the cap and I was like, ah, oh, that's funny. That voice. Is that who I think it is? That voice? Is that who I think it is? What are you doing here? What business do you have here, crazy lady? What are you doing in Fontaine? What? We have been everywhere! That's our whole gimmick! What are you- You answer our question, buddy. Why are you here? I- 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 I'm still absolutely mind blown that you're here of all characters. That is insane. Like, that was not a link I thought would exist. Time to get up, Traveler! We agreed to go see Nouvellet, so let's pack it up and get going! Oh! I love the, like, brief- Flash of like sleepy faced ether there for a second. That was nice. Seriously, we bump into child and then Mona of all people. Like, what the heck? Is it my favorite Melazine? <gasps> Yay, Sadine. Uh, you're here, finally. Monsieur Duvalet and Lady Farina. They, they seem to have gotten into a dispute. Please go see for yourself. Like, imagine they opened the door and instead of like an argument, they were like playing TCG or something. <laughs> it's time to do 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 My fucking <laughs> The prophecy? I'll ask you again. Do you really have no information regarding the previous Archon? I understand your concerns, but I'm sorry. I just don't have anything to tell you. Yeah, I wonder if she does actually know more than she's letting on. Because I swear, so far... It really seems like she genuinely does not know what the fuck is going on at all. Just trust in me, your Archon, and do as I say. That's all I have to say. We do not discuss this matter again. Oh, <laughs> the opera's about to start. Toodles! Wow, she's really, like, neglecting everything. We may have to create a situation in which she will have no choice but to speak. Alright, let's kidnap her! Oh. <laughs> That's like, like just like the the most drastic of measures possible. <laughs> Normally, people will only reveal the truth when standing trial. Perhaps we must have the Hydro Archon experience just such a scenario. We will need to consider this thoroughly, join forces with various parties, and then do what we can. Yo, the nation versus the Hydro Archon. That's interesting. <laughs> On a boat somewhere in Poisson. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Well, that's everyone, huh? Who's everyone? Who is who? Who is you? Oh, I saw was just involved. Hi! 
<laughs> hi! <It's not> <clears throat> hi! That was a oh, hi! Don't you think? Well, it really is everybody. Imagine Risley just shows up as well. He's like, hey guys, neglecting my duties at prison just to kind of, you know, show up. Good to see the Avengers Assemble moment there and everybody all together. And we're back in Zon. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be my enemy. <laughs> Did you just pour some tea? Then what's that? Ghost tea. I will sip it and become one with the dead. Clement's never seen that cup before. Don't be frightened. Ah! You're the voice we heard from the sky in Samaru. Who? Oh? Mage N? Who's N? Refer to me as Mage N. What's the N stand for? Nanya. Nanya? None your business. <laughs> Are the things that you shall see different from the fate that the gods perceive? Listen, lady, none of this is entering my brain right now. My brain is gonna take a quick break. Be back in a few minutes. No matter what will happen in Tibet's future. Alright, there you go. Sorry, that was my brain um dissolving. I'm so sorry to anyone that thinks this is really cool and understands what's going on. I have no idea what's going on. So as someone that's taken way too long away from this game, this scene makes no sense. That's the limited edition, only 16 slices a day cake! If we observe closely, there are four slices left, which are just 12 have been eaten already. Mm, how strange. Considering how popular this cake is, it's remarkable there are any left at all at this hour of the day. Also, isn't it a bit peculiar that there are always exactly four slices left whenever we arrive? This can only mean one thing. The cake was never limited. They only named it that way to scam money out of unsuspecting tourists. It doesn't taste that good either. You just ate the last slice! No, I'm investigating. One slice of cake, please. Oh, so is it? Is it Sadine? Yay! You're actually my favorite Melazine. I love her voice so much. Oh, are you here to buy cake too? <laughs> it seems Monsieur Nervalette was right. You really can eat. Hello. I'm a very big fan of you. You have a very nice way of talking, and it's very charming and fun. I looked it up, by the way. Voice actor of this, uh, Millazine is the same voice actor of Tubby. Um, so that's why the voice is familiar. You two try to stay in a good mood after eating, alright? Mm -hmm. Bye! Aww. Bye bye That was not what you said! That was not the line- what?! If... Just for example, Fontaine were to be flooded tomorrow, what would you do today? Huh. That's the prophecy you're talking about, isn't it? I've never once thought that the day could be tomorrow. If you're seriously asking, then I might try and think of a way to leave Fontaine. Oh, but I'm still a journalist, first and foremost. And secondly, I wouldn't forsake my homeland that easily. So in all likelihood, I'd probably still be prepping at the office for that interview of ours. Just think about it. If this nation really were to be suddenly destroyed tomorrow, but I still successfully finish an exclusive interview with a truly unique person, then the story I would wind up writing would truly be timeless. And this is a small thing, but I'm actually really liking how we're talking to some NPCs and asking how they feel about the prophecy. Normally, I hate when Genshin goes out of its way to just do random NPC dialogue like this, because it really, like, pads out the time. But this is actually a lot more interesting because I really like how apocalyptic this whole thing feels, you know? And it is very interesting how Genshin is tackling, like, the inevitable doom of Fontaine, I guess. And maybe it's just me and my interest in, like, existentialism. But I actually do really enjoy that Genshin explores these topics, and that it's talked about, and the players kind of have to think about it a little bit, you know? Because it makes you feel things. The Marisha say Phantom had their hands full maintaining order, and did not catch where Lady Farina had gone. So, you mean she's still missing? Oh. There's the disappearing women, the disappearing child, the disappearing Farina. Why is everyone disappearing? What's with this nation? Like, watch this. For my magic trick, I'll make my brain disappear. Could Farina really be here? Let's try to find her as soon as possible. What was meant to happen did happen after all. Everyone's dead. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hey there, Farina! <laughs> Who's that? Hi! Hope I wasn't interrupting. <laughs> so, it is 
you, blonde traveler from another land. Well, this switch up is crazy. This switch up was fast. Oh, and I'm sure Nouvellet and those people from the Marsh to say Phantom are freaking out right next to them too. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's more mentally stable than me. The Hydro Archon's over there! Quick, after her! Farina, those people seem to be after you! <laughs> Good observation, Paimon! Uh, they are? I can't let them get their way. And there she goes! Uh, I think we should probably Farina, follow her, no? <laughs> to the sheer enthusiasm they display. <laughs> Do you have a volume dial? Uh, you're right. Yep, that's a good girl. She is a child! Even Pymon's talking to her like a baby, and Pymon's a baby! That's how baby you are, baby. You're just a baby girl. A baby girl, if you will. <laughs> the boat is sinking, split into groups of one. As long as the final moment hasn't come, it's still not too late. Good. Stay motivated. Farina, it's time to lock in. I will keep hope alive for everyone until the very end. Good, she's locked in. <sighs> she's no longer locked in. Farina, one must imagine Sisyphus happy. You're too Sigma to let the skibbity gyat of the primordial sea get the better of you. <sighs> yeah, this is cool. Hey! Wow, good job, Linny. I knew it was part of our plan all along. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes my opening performance. Yeah! Does it not strike you as even the least bit absurd to bring the very concept of justice to trial? May I interpret these words as your refusal to stand trial? In that case, you will have the opportunity to defend your honor through a duel. Ooh! They got that covered too! Oh! She just surrendered! No, Paimon, I know a battle stance when I see one. Ow! Applaud and rejoice! One of the most outrageous and fantastical arcs known to the opera Epicles is now unfolding before your eyes. Yay! The trial of the Hydro Archon, Fosalor, will now begin! Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! <laughs> That's me! That guy's me! Alright then, who will be my opponent in this trial? The court asks the prosecutor to please take the stand. Yeah, I knew it! It's versus the. <laughs> I fucking knew it! I was ready! Traveler versus Farina! Round one! Fight! There's something stylistically satisfying about this that I can't place. I didn't know that the NPC models were capable of being manipulated this way, but I guess it makes sense that they could be. Cool. Charlotte wanted to give us something? Oh, so she's here too! Hey, Charlotte! <laughs> We're just giving shout outs to the audience. Free clout, free clout! Of course, it is only natural for humans to struggle to understand the actions of a god. Excuse. Hello? You're saying this to the one person here who has had direct contact with four other Archons. That's true, but my charge here is unrelated to your conduct as an Archon. Yee! Ether voice line! We don't get those very often. Instead, I would like to charge you as a fraud who's never been the Archon in the first place. Oh shit, up front, direct! Charge accepted. He's on our side, clearly. That's not a good thing, but oh my god. Wait a minute! The NPCs in the background, they're actually low poly models. You see that? Their hands aren't modeled, and their clothes are less detailed as well. If you believe I'm not the Archon, then what manner of being do you think I am? I don't know, but you're being annoying. <laughs> and if I 
was not the Archon, then how did I manage to live for over 500 years? You're a witch. There are witches that live that long. Cursed. Okay, cursed then. One need only to turn their eyes towards the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal in this very opera house. Hey, or you didn't pronounce it right. It's pronounced the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal. You faker. Faker. No. You're the faker, Sonic. I've known this whole time that you've had erectile dysfunction. Shadow, how'd you know? I don't know where this bit's going. I, I'm sorry. I literally no idea, like, how that came to be. For some reason, I find it funny. Obviously, for Farina to take on the role of being a Hydro Archon. Whoever the real Hydro Archon is giving her this, you know, role. Like, they must have given her instructions, right? Like, I'd imagine that she has, like, this pamphlet or, like, guidebook that just says, like, How to be an Archon 101. And you, like, flip the page. And there's, like, a bunch of rules. One of them is just, like, No farting. No staring at people for longer than 5.5 seconds. It's, like, the most dumb, obscure, like, shit. Like, and she has to follow that to a T every single day. She's still throwing out all kinds yeah. of excuses. Yeah. Provide some kind of demonstration. You know? Can you turn water to wine? Can you, um, raise from the dead? Tell me then, if I'm not the real Hydro Archon, then who is? My guess is it's the Oratrice, but I could be completely wrong about that. I don't know what argument they're trying to make with this, but it has it's something to do with the water. This, that yeah, all yeah. Spontaneans can dissolve in water from the primordial sea, and that means... Since you insist on claiming to be a god and not a human, then there's a method that you can use right here and now to eliminate all suspicions of you being the latter. Miss Farina, would you dare to touch some of the seawater? Oh, yikes. That is scary. Oh, and I must remind you that after the disaster at Poisson, nobody wants to see any more people dissolve. I do hope you'll act prudently and choose the simpler path of admitting guilt. We love Navia. I love Navia. I approve. Dirtfish approved. You you receive the Dirtfish stamp of approval. You and the whole Spina de Rizula gang, you're all amazing. No way. No way. No way. No way. Uh... Lady Farina, this test has been unilaterally proposed by the prosecution. As it falls outside the realm of standard court proceedings, you possess the right to decline participation. <sighs> Due to the inherent risk of the test, Lady Farina, you may... No. Hey! Okay! <laughs> I... I'm fine! Look! Look at me, everyone! My hand is still here! I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. If you're present, Miss Siegeween, please come forward and attend to the defendant. Siegeween? As everyone doubtlessly saw, Miss Farina was displaying symptoms of hyperventilation and flushed skin. She was experiencing the adverse effects of exposure to primordial seawater. Okay. She's still alive. But like, damn, she has guts. I gotta give her that. The commitment to the bit is crazy. We did originally prepare a direct sample of the seawater around Poisson. However, after extensive discussion, we exchanged it for a sample that is not concentrated enough to dissolve an actual human. After all, on the off chance that something entirely unexpected might occur, we don't want anyone else to lose their life to the sea. Listen to me, everyone! Please don't give me such cold and disdainful looks! What happened just now didn't prove a single thing! Also, also, if I was really just a human, why would I dare to just put my hand in that kind of water? Oh. Oh. The audience, they're getting Please. brains. Everyone, anyone, just listen to me! I swear, I really am your Archon! Oratrice? We gave her the ultimatum. I mean, what else is there to do? I believe the time for arguments and presentation of evidence has come to an end. If there are no objections, we will move on to the final judgment. Of the Oratrice Mechanique de Nalise Cardinal. The Oratrice that's definitely on our side, right? In huh? my capacity as Chief Justice, I shall now render judgment on Farina's misrepresentation of herself as the Archon of Fontaine. As a human who knowingly <sighs> deceived her fellow citizens, Farina is guilty. Well, there was no sound effect for the glass shattering? There should have been. That would have added way more impact, but this is still pretty heavy. 
Serves you right! Yeah! <laughs> I can imagine. Ooh. They really, like, are abusing the fact that they can make characters cry that well now, huh? We shall now turn to the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal to render the final verdict on the charges. Yes! The Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal! <laughs> Even if this is the final time we get to see it do its thing, man, it has been a pleasure. It has been a pleasure, Oratrice. And then it goes up and does the thing, and it goes, and it goes around the sides. <laughs> <laughs> and then the light flashes, and it pulls up over there, and then he abuses it for a second, and he's like, ah! According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, You're just beginning to do this for is... <laughs> I knew it! It's not on our side! It's not on our side! Well, what's wrong? What's the Oratrice's verdict? No, the Oratrice also displays a guilty verdict. But? However, the exact wording of the verdict is thus. The Hydro Archon, guilty to be punished via the death sentence. What? Oh my god, and I love the murmuring. I love the that the, they added murmuring audio from the audience. Uh, the death sentence? My favorite! Screw your, screw your laws, screw your justice. Hear me out, guys. Let's not listen to the oratories, huh? Who are the people enacting the laws? Us, not that machine, right? Yeah, and what's more strange is, instead of Farina, the Oratrice said the Hydro Archon. Indeed. Not only is Farina's sentence overly excessive, the very point of our trial today was also to prove that Farina has never been the Hydro Archon in the first place. Pause! This pose! I, it just clicked now, weeping on her throne. Is the, is the water, is the water gonna rise right now? That is really good mystery and intrigue. Oh! Is that the first prophecy slate? Whoa! Yeah, what is this? Turning the oceanids into human beings. What? I believe I've now made sense of the Hydro Archon's crime. It has to do with Fontaine's lost history. Linny, did you hear that? We're not real humans. All Fontaineans were originally created by the late previous Hydro Archon with Oceanids as their basis. So all of these people were once one with the Gamer Girl bathwater? They rose out of the sea, became E-Girl and E-Boy. But one day, the prophecy will come to claim them, and they will become bathwater once more. It is impressive that you've already managed to connect so many pieces of the truth. However, while you were able to decode all the information on the slates, They've also been etched with an additional layer of hidden information using a different power source. Hydro! Because when he scanned the thing, he was like, Huh, let me feel out the water in your own second. Let me feel the moisture in this rock. And he like sucked out the water. He was like, oh, interesting, interesting information. Bro reads water braille. <laughs> this guy is impressive. Wait, he can speak water too. Do you hear that water? Yeah, it's impressive, right? This guy is crazy. I know, I know! Yeah, exactly! So I can speak water, but he can read water. Even though water as an element is intricately linked with the power of life, the Hydro Archon as one of the seven did not possess the authority to create a new form of human life. Not one to give in, she eventually found a way to create permanent humanoid bodies for her familiars by appropriating the power of this planet's primordial sea. She poured primordial seawater into the Oceanid's blood vessels, huh? creating humanoid mimics in the process. Huh? What? Wait, th wait, Oceanids, I thought were just like these wispy water forms. You mean to tell me that they have an actual anatomy? W what does the dissection of a Oceanid look like? I, uh, I'm actually genuinely curious. That is such a wild idea to me. Of course. The Hydro Archon never received permission from the Heavenly Ooh. Principles to create a new human race. I'm sorry, are we just gonna fucking skip over the fact that that was a really, really cool thing that he just did? And thus, the Hydro Archon and all of her creations came to shoulder the original sin of appropriating the power of the Primordial Sea. That is the true history of how the people of Fontaine first came into being. Therefore... The meaning of the third slate is... What we have right now. The people of Fontaine shall try the Hydro Archon at the Court of Justice. Yes, 
It refers to our present situation. And she's weeping on her throne. Hey! Good- Hey, I will say, kudos to the game for setting that up well, enough for me to guess that right away. As for the root cause of the catastrophe, I believe you've already encountered it once before. Huh? The whale? It was both dream and reality. The whale? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Wait, what? Why did this happen? What is... That's so random! Nah. We will let solos. I, I believe it. Never mind. I believe it slightly less. It's okay, Ether solos. Oh shit. No. No, 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 no. Child? Yo, he's been fighting that the whole time? Legend! Oh, I love his theme! Child's like a uh, delusion theme kicking in. That's really good. Oh my god, that's so good. The design of this uh, whale thing is also really interesting, by the way. It's just like so random that it happened this way. You good, bro? Did he just give us a thumbs down? What was that? <laughs> it's like, fuck your trial. Peace out, yo! So we've met it at last. That whale does not belong to Tevat. It is a monster that has traversed the stars, weeping all the while. What? It's from outer space like me? It has been greedily consuming the energy from the planet's primordial sea, using it to grow. That is the main cause for the rising sea levels. That whale finds the blood of Fontanians nigh impossible to resist. Therefore, when it left the primordial sea, it decided to make its next stop a packed opera house full of food. Food in the form of Fontanians. This is really cool, but also, how did you know? How did you deduce all of that? You're a smart cookie. I know that, for sure. But like, that was an, an insane jump to several conclusions there about how this works. How did you know that? I have no idea. So how was Child managing that the whole time? Underwater, by the way, where he couldn't breathe. What? Yo, fuck it. If he's the weakest of the Harbingers, we're fucked. Yeah, if that's what he's capable of, bro, I'm not even- I'm not even gonna bother fucking with all the others. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna go pack my things and go back to outer space. Goodbye, everybody. Which, by the way, I still find that very silly. They converted this whole, like, awesome apocalyptic scenario into a boss fight with, like, a physical thing. You know, like, if it was a phenomenon trying to kill everybody that they stopped, that would feel so much more compelling than this. We still haven't had the payoff of, you know, the- the Fortress of Meripede Noah's Ark that they were building. You know, that, that hasn't come into use yet. Did I miss something? Wait, I forgot about Farina. What was it that she wanted to say to me at the last moment in the giant magic box? What is her real secret? <laughs> Uh-oh. The Oratrice? 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 Oh, what's happening with the Oratrice? I believe it is preparing to carry out the death sentence. Ah! Are you s Farina! No way. No way. No, I still need answers. Yes! Save her! Farina user domain expansion. It's over. We're done for. What? Huh? <laughs> There's a big quest marker. Guys, we gotta go to that location. <laughs> what the fuck? That was the old Hy Hydro Archon right there. Oh. Hello. <laughs> That shocked expression on your face is just too amusing. I couldn't help myself. Wow! A much lower tone than I expected coming from Farina's face. Who are you? Yeah, she's not Farina. Did you see the text? It said Ah Farina. Her name is Ah Farina. Get it right, buddy. Ah, uh, 
the sweet oh. sound of bewilderment. Marvelous. A sure sign that my attempt to deceive everyone was a resounding success. But to answer your question, I am Fosalor. You know, the god. <laughs> It's just like, come on, the fucking, it's so funny that she was like, so dramatic and like building it. And then she's like, you know, the god, like fucking, you didn't have to add that part. Yeah, so I love Fosalor, but she takes very long to explain herself here. I'm assuming you're all Genshin players, so you all know what happens. But in case you don't, let me summarize it for you, Derpfish style. Hey, um, Egeria, being an ocean, it is cool and all, but being a human looks fun. Can we do that? Well, my friend, that's a big no-no according to Archon rules, but it does sound fun. Why not? Arr, I'm, I'm the heavenly principles. Fuck you, Egeria, you bitch. I don't like you or your people. So now your country will drown in 500 years because I, I said so, I guess. I still don't know exactly how that happened. Gasp! That sucks. Well, not my problem. I'll just die somewhere in the Archon War, so, uh, hey, Fosalor! Huh? It's your turn to be the Archon. Good luck! Wait, I, I don't think that's a good- Poof! Fosalor replaces Egeria. Idea. Well, I guess I gotta come up with a plan by myself. Great. Uh, let's see what I've got. Drink the ocean away? No, that won't work. Um... Sing an apology song to the Heavenly Principles? No, that's stupid. Um... Ah, kill myself. Now that's a great one. And so Fosalor got cooking. First by constructing the Oratrice Mechanic Denali's Canal, which is not a super effective, always correct robo judge like the Fontanians thought. It's actually a super effective Archon killing device powered by Justice, which is pretty wacky but pretty cool. And it's important for later, so just hold on. Hmm. Now I need to monitor the Oratrice while it collects Justice juice, but I can't do that if I'm on Archon duty. So. Huh? The Hydra Archon split herself into two parts, the Divine Self, Fosalor, and the Human Self, Farina. They both think and act independently from each other. Hello, Farina. Congratulations on being born. You're a weak, useless human whom I won't even give a sliver of my powers to for some reason, but I have a very important job for you. I will hide and work on the Oratrice. Meanwhile, you can pretend to be the Archon and do Archon things on my behalf, and tell nobody that I exist, or else we all die. Okay, I'm basically a newborn child, but I can do that, I think. Great, that way you can pretend to be part of the big-ass flood prophecy, while I will be secretly stopping it in the background. Oh, also, as long as I'm alive, you have immortality, so... You might have to do this for, like, 500 years? Wait, what? She crying? She's crying. Oh my fucking god! Really now? I didn't even notice. Have I? Reached my limit? Perhaps I reached it long ago. Today I didn't even notice my own tears. And that's the story. This big ass quest marker above me is actually the Oratrice. And when it kills me, it kills the concept of a Hydro Archon entirely. In other words, as the Hydro Dragon, you, Nervalette, will gain full control of the Hydro Element. I'm sure you can figure out the rest. Good luck! Q cutscene! <sighs> the hour of my execution is almost here. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but faced with death, I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one thing both gods and humans have in common. <laughs> Farewell, Nervalette. I hope you've enjoyed the part you played these 500 years. Wow. <sighs> 
This is just beautiful. Like, I actually... I was tempted to make this a bit more comedic. Right? I really wanted to. But this is so unbelievably amazing that I just can't. I'm in pure awe right now. I, I'm sorry for interrupting, by the way. If you want to watch this, the, the cutscene's on YouTube somewhere. You could probably find it. And that's... Curtain Call. <laughs> and the biggest twist... <laughs> the cake was in fact a hat the whole time. Oh, but Farina herself is okay. Like, Farina the human herself is okay. Please look happily as a human. Holy shit! And the music! Oh my god! And the animation! And oh my god! And he's crying, and so it's raining. It's so good! I, Udex Nuvelet, hereby declare People of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. The first dragon to regain his powers too. And honestly, as deserved. Holy shit. Bravo! Oh my god, I would give a standing ovation right now, but that would completely disrupt my current recording setup. And we're not even done! We just cut back to here, we're not even done, but oh my god. I have so much to say, mainly just what an excellent, excellent thing that this happened. This whole thing was set up extremely well, had really good payoff so far, and, and just like the acting and the music and the animations and everything just came together wonderfully. And this was cinema, like absolute masterclass cinema that I just witnessed here. What just happened? Has the death sentence been carried out? Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? But since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. It's time to end this. We must mete out punishment to that beast. But... didn't you say just a moment ago that it can't be defeated? I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. Nuvolet unlocked his fucking full potential. And he was already really powerful before this point. So that is very exciting as an idea um, as well. Because it's teased us already that this guy without his full potential is enough to essentially one tap child. I will say though, it's a little bit funny. We had this whole sequence where he ascended above the opera, you know, uh, opera house. And like did that whole thing with like the water whenever. Now we're, we cut back to inside the opera house. Kind of like kills the vibe a bit. But also still cool. Still very cool. Traveler, now that the oratories can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. Me! The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the all-devouring narwhal. Oh, so not a whale. And honestly, that makes it much cooler. But also, heck yeah, baby, I've been upgraded. I am no longer just the Duke. I am the Executor. Oof. Okay. Okay! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the glass shattering wasn't the most, like, dramatic as I thought it would be. Because the sound design was really- Whoa! 
Whoa! But how are we going to do that? It's huge! Wait, yeah, what am I supposed to do exactly? I've already done my best to separate the power of the primordials from the way. Holy the shit. I cannot reach the power source. I'm using Hydro. I can't kill this thing. It's probably resistant to Hydro, right? Holy shit, I didn't expect to be dropped into the boss fight right away. I thought I'd have more time to, like, recollect myself. What the hell? Oh my god. This boss fight is very cinematic, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not avoidable. Wow! The sound design, the music! Holy shit, it's really good! Hi! Ooh! The music? Dubstep? <laughs> In my Genshin boss battle? No way! Seize the moment. Use my power to suppress this root from within. Okay, I will try my best, but I literally don't have a party that's suited for combat. These guys are just fun. I I, I pick these guys because they're fun, not because they're strong. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knight! Okay. Oh! Wait, it's dead! That's it! I didn't even finish the boss fight. Well, that's a little anticlimactic, but I mean... Very good teaser for what the actual like boss is like. Ooh! The sound design's great. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog style just curled into a ball. Hello! <laughs> you don't look like you even belong in Genshin. <laughs> Who is that? Thanks for helping with the cleanup. It should have been my job, but oh well. That power. Who are you exactly? Uh, Paimon has an idea. From what she said earlier, Skunk! she must be child's master. Skirk, right? So that's a, that ties into things. I was wondering why there was a random lore dump about that. I'm glad to see that actually like reused in the same storyline and not just saved for like Shishnaya or like the Abyss or something. What sort of person would take the Norwal as a pet? Me! I would! That thing's awesome! I have to agree. Sorry, I was very distracted by the green screen socks. Slash legs. Why does it like converge here directly into the heels? Like, and it's green screen. My brain's falling apart. I've been here too long. So what sort of person is your master? His name is Sertologi. Sertologi. The Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. What? Huh? Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the heavenly principles. Oh, thank goodness. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. This is the perspective that the gods see, right? Whoa! Wait, so Fontaine's actually flooded? Seriously? Is and it actually? Then, will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away? Oh, it is. Also, I'm sorry, the water all of a sudden is like animated well. Everyone's fine. Wait, but they didn't like. What was the. Hey, help over here. Yay! Wait, everyone's okay. No one dissolved. Wow, that is an alarmingly fast moving boat. <laughs> okay. Shit! It's Moana! When you hand when you stand in the sea, it calls me! Oh my god! It's the payoff I was asking for! Noah's Ark! Oh my god, it flies! All hands initiate emergency rescue! Wow, it flies! I did not expect that. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Claw machine! Everyone get your... <laughs> Look, let me reel in my prizes, little, little humans! <laughs> hey, lend a hand. Wow. What was the whole point of it being claw machines, though? Like, now you're forcing them to grip onto that, and they're... Oh! Premine! 
Music's beautiful, by the way. Sound design's great, by the way. Animation, ob obviously, is always good. Again, I find it funny that none of these people actually need to... breathe. <laughs> properly. Look! The water's receding! Huh. It's actually good to know that nobody actually dissolved. It's a miracle! The water's receding! We didn't dissolve. The prophecy was wrong! The prophecy was wrong! piss off my neighbors at that, but, you know. Oh, wow. Are you right? Yeah. Where, where's the pain? The prophecy was wrong. That's so... Wonderful. Oh, wow. Hats off, man. Hats off. All of this has been extremely satisfying. Like, I can't I can't say for sure what part of it was my favorite, but, like, this whole last act to the Fontaine story quest is the best you've seen out of Genshin. That was all handled spectacularly. And I mean that in the word spectacular. That was a spectacle. Oh, my God. It is a little bit cliche. But I actually really like that Genshin went here instead of giving us, giving us like the black background and white text that always happens. I like this more. Hope is like seeing a small cookie when you're starving late at night. Fuck! Now you're making me hungry for cookies! Paimon, I'm hungry. Can I eat you? Alright, then everyone who wants to be in the photo, gather up and smile. Cheese! Oh, my mouth's shut. <laughs> and thus we reach the epilogue. It was like 20 minutes long though, so I had to cut it all out. It was mostly just meeting up with all the Fontaine cast again, then discussing lore stuff at the end with Nervalet. So, pretty sweet. I was originally gonna make a more detailed review of Fontaine here at the end of the video, but honestly, I don't have much left to say. It was great! Uh, the story, the characters, the music, the environments, and most importantly, the emotion was all there. All exceptional in the story quest, so very well done, Hoyoverse. The plot got a bit stupid at times, the pacing was a bit slow at times. Obviously, some parts like the Fortress of Meripede and Risley's writing was a little bit disappointing to me, but that's just the Genshin trademark at this point. Something's always gonna go wrong, but at the end of the day, my feelings were touched, and that's what matters. And before you go, take this crown. There are very few people willing to sit through an hour-long video, especially from a small creator like me, so just know you are genuinely a legend for making it this far. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I hope I made you smile at least a little bit, but yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. Cheers, and I'll see you on future travels.